Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new science lesson. Please get the scientist notebook ready and let's start. We're going to be starting on page 53. We're still talking about light and uh, materials, transparency, translucent, and uh, this new vocabulary. So let me refresh your memory again with the meaning and definition for these words. Materials. Anything used for making and building things. Transparent. When light can pass through. Translucent, when some light can pass through. Opaque, when light cannot pass through. All right. Let's go back to our book, page 53. And these are the words we need to use. But before, let's read the matching objects, then we're going to watch the video. Okay, match the word the object describes. Opaque, transparent, translucent, clear window, orange slice, wood board. Okay, opaque, transparent, translucent, then we have clear window, orange slice, and wood board. All right, let's listen to our video. Have you ever heard these words? Transparent, opaque, and translucent. When an object is transparent, light is able to travel through it so that anything behind the object is still clearly visible. A glass of water or the clear glass in a window is an example of a transparent material. When an object is opaque, light is unable to travel through it. Therefore, nothing can be seen behind it. Wood, concrete, and metal are examples of opaque materials. See how this opaque paint covers the previous color? That is because the material is blocking the light rays. Some objects let just a little light through, and those are called translucent objects. For example, a piece of fruit, like an orange slice, or this frosted glass window. Transparent, opaque, and translucent. Now that you have heard these words and know what they mean, start using transparent, translucent, and opaque today and look for examples all around you. Hi. Let's go to our page, page 53, and try to match. Match the word with the object it describes. Opaque. Is it clear window? Orange slice or wood board. Oh. Yes, topic is wood board that you cannot see blocking all the light. Okay, transparent is a clear window or the orange slice in the video you just watch. Transparency mean you see all the light pass through like clear window. Very good. Translucent. Very good. Like the orange slide in our video. Okay. So that's clear. Now we can go for next page, page 54. Fill in the blanks. If you can see through materials, it is, you can see through it. So what are we going to call it? Transparent or opaque or translucent? Of course, transparent. If I can see through, that means it's transparent. So transparent. So if you can see through material, it is transparent. All right. To keep light out completely, we use material. If you want to really block the light, what do we call this? Opaque. Very good. This is what block the light or keep the light out completely. Very good. 
Okay. Let's play this game. Okay. What type of material is shown in the photo? Select the correct answer. So this is the material, like the curtain on the window. Again. What type of material is shown in the photo? Select the correct answer. Okay, this is your answer. Is it transparent that you can see all the light? Is it translucent that you see some light? Or it's opaque, you cannot see anything. Look again at the picture. If this is our choice, yes, I can see some of the light, so it is translucent. Let's see, check your answer. You got it, very good. Okay, let's go for the next picture. What type of material is shown in the photo? Select the correct answer. So as you see, a wooden door. Would you think this wooden door will be transparent? The light can go through? Translucent? Some of the light? Or opaque? That it's blocking completely the light? Very good. Let's check our answer. You got it. Number three. Okay, now we're looking at this big window, clear glass window. What type of material is shown in the photo? Select the correct answer. You think the light passing through it, part of it, or it's blocking the light completely? Of course, pass the light, so it is. Transparent. Let's check our answer. Yes. So we got this right. All right, let's go here and try to circle. Translucent materials allow all light to pass through them. Circle the answer. Translucent like the curtain on a window pass allow all light to pass through them yes or no very good false so we need to circle we need to circle false because translucent will allow some of the light all right a brick wall is an example of an opaque material. Yes or no? A brick wall. Opaque means there is no light. Opaque, no light will pass through. Yes or no? Very good. Yes. So we're circling true. All right. Now let's go for number five. Tell about a time when you use a transparent, translucent, or opaque material and why. So you can say anything over here. You can say I use transparent um, lead of my toy box so I could see what was inside or for my Pencil box, I have a pencil box with a transparent uh, lid that I can see my items in it. So you can write anything you like to. I'm gonna put something here and I'm gonna say, I used a transparent then. lid on my toy box and why you do that so you'll be able to see what's in it so you could see
what was inside. Let's go for page 55. All right. Cause and effect. We cover this also in English, so we know things happen and what happened and why it's happening. So what causes light to pass through some materials and not others? Why do you think the, the, um, the, the, for example, the frosty window allows some light to go or the clear glass bottle of water allow all the light to go or the window in your car allow lights to go the thickness and the color of the materials blocks the light or allow the light to pass through right we need to write this down so the thickness and the thickness and the color of the materials either blocks the light or allow allows light to pass through and of course can allow all the light to pass through or part of it so the thickness of the material and also the color okay that's number six let's go for number seven. Oh, oh i'm sorry no there's no seven complete i can statement this is the one that we always end any experiment or investigation uh, that we did together. So, complete I can statement. I can plan an investigation to what did we learn here? To find materials that block the light or allow light to pass through. Right? So you can decide what to what to choose. Let's say you want to block the light completely, so you can use wood or tire, uh, rubber, you can use uh, metal, uh, concrete, and if you want um, light to pass through, you can also decide what kind of um, materials you're using. If you want clear windows or um, frost, frosty, or you put curtains, so you can decide to do that. So let's say I can plan an investigation to find Materials that block lights or allow light to pass through. All right, you get the chance to write it all. Okay, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye bye.